cookies. Now I'm going to be showing you today a really cool trick involving a regular deck of cards, a notepad, and a pen. Okay, so basically this is my, what are they called again, scorpion deck, and I'm going to show you how all I've got to do is give them a couple of cuts, or well, maybe I'll give it a simple cut, just like that, maybe give it a bit more complex three part cut just like that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it one last cut and I'm going to get a spectator to tell me when to stop stop okay cut the deck place your card that you chose down there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how if I turn the deck over and I'm going to insert your card face down somewhere maybe in the middle just like that. Now if I give it a shake and I turn it over, when I spread out the cards, wait, before I spread out the cards, I'm going to write down a prediction on this piece of paper. But I don't want you to see. Okay. Okay, so I'll put it where you can see it. Oh, can you see it there? There we go. Um, and what I'm going to do is now, I'll spread out the cards, and the card that you actually chose was the Nine of Clubs. Now, there are two cards that are next to your card, and those two cards are the Five of Diamonds and also the Jack of Diamonds. And what was my prediction? The Five of Diamonds and the Jack of Diamonds matching results. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. Okay, so here's how you do the trick that I just then showed you. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a gimmick card. You're going to need a double backed card. Now if you don't have one of these, you can just make one exactly like I did by sticking the two jokers together or maybe other cards. And it's very simple because whenever you want, you can just take the two cards apart. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to set up the deck. What you're going to do is you're going to take maybe about four random cards and you're going to set it, set it up like this on the bottom. So, you're going to have a random bottom card, you're going to have another random card, and you're going to have a face down card and one more random card. Now you're going to remember these two cards that are bordering this face down card. So you remember both of them. Okay, so you put that face down on the bottom of the deck. So now we've got that face up card right there. Then what you do is you put your double backed card right on top. Then what you do is you do a couple of false cuts, false shuffles, whatever you want, but keep it in the order that it's in. Then what you're going to do is basically, it's pretty simple, um, you cut the deck, you hold it there with a pinky break right there. Then what you do is wherever they say stop, you just pull away exactly where the cut is. And you put down their card, which is actually the double backed card. But they don't know that. You then finish the cut, and so that will put that face up card somewhere in the middle. Then what you're going to do is you slide it in somewhere random. Wait, face up, somewhere random. And then, it'll just happen to be that your prediction was exactly the same as the two cards that are there. So that's a very simple trick that you can do. I hope you like the tutorial. Um, if you like that, please subscribe, please rate, please comment. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.